Hi guys, this is iTouch DIY Labs and um, today I'm going to walk you through how to install a smart switch in a very simple and easy way. It should take you about five minutes. This is the switch we want to uh, change. Uh, you notice that this is the kitchen uh, switch and this is the island tables lamp. Um, the only switch we need to change or want to change is this one. So um, we have purchased this smart switch. Um, there's two of them, I'll we'll just use one. And because we would need a face plate to uh, cover this one, we purchased this face plate that has a, a double uh, space so that we can uh, replace that once we have it installed. And then we got a, a single uh, switch, single way switch. Um, because this one is just one switch, it's a single switch for the island table that would go up here and then you have the, uh, the smart switch here. Um, basic tools you would need, you would need uh, a screwdriver, uh, you would need a tester, it's very important to know that the, the circuit power is turned off and um, you can use a drill, a screwdriver on a drill as well. Um, so that's basically, you need the pliers to pull the wires. Um, the uh, power will be cut off, but uh, sometimes you just want to be safe. So, okay, so let's get on it. Um, let's take a look at this switch um, that came in a box. Uh, this is the Casa uh, Smart Switch. Okay, so um, they, there's a couple of warning and instructions up here. Um, this walks you through how to get the app and then guess it, get it connected. Um, once you take it out, it looks like this. You want to uh, look at how it connects very well. Um, these two connectors up here are the travelers. And then you have the white and green. Um, cables here. Uh, the white one is a neutral and the green is a ground. And then you have the, the loader line uh, going up here. So we'll just uh, do a quick swap up here. And very important, you want to, the first thing you need to do before you touch anything is to turn off the uh, the, the, the power from the main switch, uh, the meter most of the time is located in the garage or uh, by the bathroom depending on how your house is. So you want to turn it off before you get started. It's very important. So you take off the face plate. still have the power um, on, I'll, I'll turn it off shortly, but uh, you want to check and see which is your load line, so you need one of these testers, um, it's very good to know, um, okay, so to test it you switch the light off first and then you bring it to each of the terminals, so the one that would beep Red will be your load line. Let's turn this one off as well. Okay, so this is your load line. You see how it's blinking red? Um, this would be a traveler. And then this is the, um, the earth wire. The ground. Okay. And then it's worth to mention that this is a, a three-way switch we're trying to uh, replace. So you need to get the right switch, uh, the three-way switch. OK, 
Okay, perfect. So now we need to, uh, before we touch anything here, you just want to be very careful. We want to switch the meter off uh, the main power source. So you look for the, uh, this is the kitchen, the dining area. So kitchen. And then the kitchen, we want to make sure we have all the uh, kitchen switches off. Okay. Okay, so that would be this one it has uh, the same line as the garage, so. Okay, so um, before you disconnect anything, you want to take a picture just to see and know how uh, we have the current settings uh, and then how everything, all the wires are connected. You just want to make sure where everything is at, just in case. So we have these three wires down here. Um, we have uh, some of them carrying power to the other switches, so, okay. So, um, uh, the manufacturer normally includes these uh, labels, so uh, it's really handy and useful. Once you identify the cables, you want to uh, use it to label them. And now we have the main power off, but you still want to check and make sure the power is out. So you bring these uh, to each of these. There is no beep, so we're safe. Okay, and then you also want to turn the power on and off just to make sure it's always very important to be double cautious. And as a, a, a caution to everyone, if you are not very comfortable or good with this installation, you must consult a professional to do it for you. Okay, so we have our neutral down here. Uh, these two are travelers, so we can use these to label the travelers. Now it's very important that you know your traveler. So depending on the type of house you have, um, the red and black are the travelers. If you don't install it well, sometimes um, it would not work well. One switch would be on and then the other will be off before it works. But if you, ins you install it well, it doesn't matter which uh, position either of the switches is at, it should work perfectly. I've done this so many times, so I know what I'm talking about. So just uh, watch it very well. These two are your travelers, and then this would go to your load on line. Um, I know my load on line, so I'll just not label it. And then the ground would be the bare copper wire down here. Okay, I guess we're ready to do the, uh, the main work. So let's jump on it. Let's start with the, uh, we can start with the ground. Okay, we have, uh, we'll start with the two travelers in the ground. Okay, and very important for this, uh, um, this smart switch, you need a neutral, so you want to make sure you have the neutral is the white wire. Is, um, they normally push it inside here, so you want to bring it out. Yeah, here it is. Okay, come. Okay, we have a neutral out. Okay. And, okay, good. So we'll start with uh, connecting the neutral. Um, well, let's start with the ground. Okay, we connect the ground. You put both in and then you twist it. Make 
sure it's very tight and then let's do the neutral Travelers. Okay, that's the first traveler. Now, if this uh, bare copper wire is too long, you want to cut it short because you don't want a piece of it, part of it, to be hanging out. It can be dangerous. Okay. And tighten it very well. And I think it's very uh, helpful if you take up this uh, face plate can just pop it off okay. now we we'll do this traveler we'll do the same thing we'll just shave a piece of the bear wire off okay now we'll put it in here I'll we'll straighten it Tighten it real good. Okay, finally we are connecting the load, uh, the line. So let's shave this side off. That has three wires, so you want to make sure you get all the three wires in. Okay. Now we will tighten it. Okay, now we have everything uh, connected, all set. Before you cut on the power, you want to just check around and make sure everything is good. Uh, no loose connections. Uh, so it looks like we are good. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn the main power on and check it before we clean it up and cover the whole place. All right, now we have the power back on um and once you see the the wireless icon blinking uh, orange and green it means we have good news so we're going to go ahead you can just uh turn it on and off we have lights so and then see the lights are on off okay good so uh we just have to set it up in the app and then uh test it all right, now um, we are testing it. So we have it connected on the app. Uh, we set up the app and we also have it connected to uh, the Amazon Echo. So let's give it a test. Alexa, turn on, turn off kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on kitchen lights. Sorry, I didn't find a group or device name one okay so it looks like it's working alexa turn off kitchen light okay alexa 
Turn on kitchen lights. Okay. Perfect. So we have it all set up as working. Um, we will now uh, clean up the wires, uh, park it well, and then install this uh, single switch so that we can use uh, uh, this new face plate we got. All right, if you like the channel, uh, click on the subscribe down there and make sure you watch out for the uh, next video. All right, so finally, uh, look at our work. It looks very neat. This is the smart switch. And then this is the manual switch. Uh, we use that for the island table so that we can use this face plate here uh, because they have the same sizes. So thank you guys. And again, um, watch out for our next video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Uh, one last show before we go. Alexa, turn off kitchen lights. Okay. Okay. Alexa, turn on kitchen light. Okay.